Hi everyone, Adam and Hannah here with your September monthly updates. Let's get started. Firstly, park hours, and as we head towards the end of summer, we'll start to see these drop a little. For the first week of the month, parks are open to 9 and 10 p.m., and then they'll change things up with the parks closing between 8 and 9 p.m. in the week and 9 and 10 p.m. in the weekends. Both parks open at 9.30 a.m. for most guests and for gold annual pass holders and those staying on Disney property, you get the extra magic hour in both parks 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. On to ride news and we have a few to cover this month. In the main park, the Little Boat Ride and Casey's Junior has reopened with the three new scenes added in the boat ride which look fantastic. These rides have also had extensive repainting and are looking really fresh and really bright. The Pirate's Galleon remains closed with no reopening date in sight and we think this is going to be closed until at least spring 2025. Peter Pan's flight is closing on the 2nd of September and reopening on the 21st. This closure incorporates an update to the Native American scenes to match the updates recently made in the Magic Kingdom version, making this more appropriate for today. And the Indiana Jones ride is closed for a refurb from the 16th of September with no reopening date confirmed. Over in the Studios Park and the Flying Carpet ride remains closed and the full rebuild of this ride is well underway but we don't expect to see this open until later in the year. We also have Avengers Flight Force closing on the 2nd of September and reopening on the 7th. In ride changes and updates Themed tarps have been installed around Hyperspace Mountain as the show building gets a much needed refurbishment. This attraction remains open at this time. And finally, last month during the Disney annual fan event, Disneyland Paris announced a new Lion King land coming to the studios park as well as new rides, new shows and attraction updates. There's an awful lot to go through and we have a separate video coming out next week detailing all of this. If that's something you want to see, Hit that subscribe button. On to event news now, and Symphony of Colours is due to end on the 30th of September, and we also say goodbye to Princess Week, which finished on the 31st of August. We have one more event before Disney starts to switch up for Halloween, and that's the annual pass holder event this month on the 13th of September, called Back in Time to the 2000s. This runs from 6 p.m. until 2.30 a.m., and tickets are still available. And Disneyland Paris has teased some of the characters that will appear at this party, including some very rare characters like Dr. Hamster Veal from the Lilo and Stitch TV series, Captain Gantu, Edna Mode, Phineas and Ferb, Yzma, Kida from Journey to Atlantis, Milo and Carl Fredrickson. And in show news and changes now, updated showtimes for Alice in the Queen of Hearts Back to Wonderland from 12.25pm, 3.20pm, 4.45pm and this will run until the 29th of September. And the Frontierland Theatre will close from September 9th to November 1st with the Lion King Rhythm of the Pride Land show taking a break. In hotel news now, last month Disney opened a secret Deadpool and Wolverine speakeasy called the Fourth Wall at the Broom Room. This is strictly reservation only via the QR code in the lobby and this is a very limited time event due to close on October 1st. Reservations are for a maximum of one hour for up to six people and it's open from 6pm until 11pm. And in dining and drinks news, Bistro Chez Remy has opened a terrace area where you can get drinks and light bites. The same is available and offered in the courtyard at Le Berge de Cendrillon in the Disneyland Park and open while the summer lasts. Brasserie Rosalie is running a happy hour promotion, cocktails, wine, beer from five euros from 5.30 to 7pm in the Disney Village. We're not sure how long this is going to run, but for five euros a cocktail, it's a steal. And at Colonel Hathies in the Disneyland Park, we have another menu change. A few months ago, the menu was updated to Indian pizza, and Disney has brought back the four cheese Mickey pizza in addition to its new offerings. And in construction and demolition news, in Disney Village, demolition has started on the Planet Hollywood building, and Disney isn't leaving an empty space here, Disney have recently had planning permission approved to build a brand new Italian restaurant. And whilst not confirmed, we speculate that this is going to be housed in this spot. 
in the Studios Park and our friends at DLP Works recently published an update map of the promenade being built to connect the old Studios Park with the new lake and expansion areas. This includes concept art for new rides, attractions and the new entrance in the Pixar Land. And finally, we have an opening timeline for Frozen Land. Disney have confirmed that this will open sometime in 2026, ending the 2025 speculation. And in all else news, we couldn't not mention that Universal Studios released details of the new Harry Potter land being built at the Epic Universe Park in Florida. This expansion looks massive and Universal has confirmed that the main ride will be set inside the British Ministry of Magic, which will be built to the same scale as in the movies and will be accessed by the Flu Network. We cannot wait to see this when it opens in late 2025. And that's another monthly update done. If you found this useful, please subscribe, like, and hit that notification button for more. This is Adam and Hannah, and until next time, thank you for being our guest. And just keep swimming.